and what is up <laughs> welcome back to the channel if you're back in here hit the like button and if you're new here let's see if you like what you see so i'm just gonna jump into a shorter video today but something i was thinking about and i once again i was writing on this and thought i'll just do the video about it and that is the state to rule all states so i've spoke about this before where i spoke about how this i had this incredible moment this incredible feeling over me listening to this lecture by dr joseph murphy and he just it just clicked in my head boom it just clicked and i was looking out at the garden and this overwhelming feeling hit me of just being connected to everything at the same time but not just being connected to it sort of also being separated from this body and almost existing in a different place like being aware of all these things that are happening but at the same time being one with everything and it just it felt like this safe place and this like safe haven just to exist there where it felt like everything that i was thinking feeling in that moment just completely dissolved it just went away and i thought i just i actually just milked it i was like i want to stay here for as long as i possibly can and i've read some books and things where they've got when i read these types of things i it kind of made sense to me and i went oh wait i kind of felt that but without having the knowledge on it because that's one of the things that they talk about is that Someone can tell you all these things, but the only way to truly grasp it is through your actual experience. That's the only way you're truly going to understand it. You can read as much as you want on it, but until you actually have that profound moment of feeling it, you won't really get it. So in a lot of these books and things, they use a lot of terms and it can be confusing to someone who hasn't actually experienced it. The way I just look at it to sort of simplify everything is that people will say, oh, you're on this spiritual journey, right? But the real truth is that you aren't going anywhere because it's you the whole time. That place is within you. It's not even somewhere that you have to locate on this journey. That is what you truly are. And the reason we kind of forget, I believe, is because, you know, you've laid your self down onto this clay form onto this clay body and you've gotten caught up in this 3d world the day-to-day -day grind and over time we just completely forget where we come from it's like this amnesia and i almost i was thinking about something and i was saying that it's like that place of being is almost like the garden of eden it's just abundant and it's full of love and bliss and joy and even in your own nakedness, you're secure and safe. And then leaving the Garden of Eden into the barren lands, into the, the state of suffering, you know, the barren lands being your body. Even though, like I mentioned, it's, it's with you, right? It's not even something that is with you. Like I said before, you are it. This is who you truly are. And it goes beyond what you see in the mirror. I talk about this often. This avatar, what you see in the mirror, that's not you. It's simply an illusion. If you want to really talk about the truth, here, it's all just an illusion. Like I said in yesterday's video, everything outside of that place of consciousness is just imagination. This is why you can think of anything and be anything truly. At down to the, the fundamental levels, the only thing... That is stopping it is you you're the only one who gets in the way of that the point of what i'm trying to say here is that why i believe it's the state to rule all states because if you put yourself in a state of wealth that's how you acc accumulate wealth if you put your state yourself in a state of experiencing that inner love completely you will attract love to you same thing with health you experience that healthy state and that rejuvenation of the body and of the mind you will attract health but i truly believe that with this the i guess you could call it the enlightened state 
it goes beyond it transcends all of those because once you're in that you automatically feel abundant and blissful and joyful and you feel healthy and you feel like everything is okay the stress most of the things that's making you sick drops away and it dissolves the state of suffering everything drops away you you start to see the abundance in everything around you you look at the grass and it's just grains of sand everywhere and blades of grass everywhere and the blue sky and you go wow this is going on forever and you feel the wind and even in, in your actual breath you're breathing in and you're like wow i could breathe forever there's unlimited amount of breaths i could take and you start seeing things in everything then all of a sudden you're in a state of wealth so it all comes from the that one state and truly you can't even really describe the state because you can't actually truly name it it really is something that cannot be named you know it's the feeling it's the state of everything that was that is now and will be forevermore and that is you so that's just what i wanted to talk about today just something i had on my mind obviously i wrote a whole article on it and that'll be down in the comments um so you can check that out on medium it's completely for free and so if you like the video hit the thumbs up share this with someone you know what i tend to see is that and I'll, i'm gonna do probably my next video is going to be on this is about frequency of the feeling and the actual vibration of the state you know so this is now breaking it down so subscribe if you want to see what i talk about on that very interesting but people they might say things and they might do certain affirmations and all types of things to get what they want but they're feeling the, the truth is in the feeling so like i said that'll be a different video and if you want to check out some of my old videos it'll be one over there there and subscribe over here and i'm out peace have a good day